is where I start. This is data from, some of you will have seen this before, I appreciate. Uh, this is data from a chap called Richard Layard, who's an economist at the LSE. And he asked people who they're happiest spending time with. Uh, anyone want to guess? Well, yeah, you can, you can guess how this works. I put them in order. So the friends come top, the parents, the relatives, the spouse. We love our children, but, you know, when we spend too much time with them, we get into fights with them. So I don't want to, I want to dwell on the bottom here. If you can see where I'm heading, I'll spell it out if it's not obvious. People would prefer to be alone than with their boss, okay? <laughs> uh, the boss is that person with whom we have a sometimes great, sometimes rather tempestuous, uh, at all times a little bit delicate relationship. Uh, and when asked, most people actually would prefer to be alone. What does that mean? I think that's obviously a, kind of a, a rather sad indictment on our organizations. There are some terrific bosses out there. There are also some terrible bosses. And my personal kind of quest, if you like, over the last five or ten years has been to say to myself, you know, what can we do differently to start, in Henry's word, a transformation, a movement? Uh, and my starting point, actually, is to go almost like back to the kind of the basic underlying principles, almost the kind of the concept of what management is all about. My definition of management is getting work done through others. That's not a controversial definition. Uh, and that, of course, applies both to the kind of the architecture of the company as well as the individual things that each of us does. So if you say to yourself, be a little bit sort of philosophical here, say, what problem was management invented to solve in the first place? You know, you can go, you know, that, that might sound like a crazy question, but if you think about it, management is a, is a social technology. It is a mechanism, a means by which we get people to do stuff which they couldn't do on their own. And so if you go back to the Industrial Revolution, I mean, you can go back further if you like, but let's start with the Industrial Revolution. You go back to the kind of the, the dark satanic mills of, of Lancashire, if you like, um, and you say to yourself, what were the problems that the original architect of management tr tr were trying to solve? And it was to routinize and standardize work, you know, make high mass-produced products at high, high quality and low cost, and to maximize the diligence and discipline of people. You know, the word, the term manual labor means literally using the hands, right? We, are, we created the concept of manual labor almost as a way of, you know, almost dis dissociating people from, you know, the, the, with, from, their, from the fruits of their production. And, of course, that's, that was the, the result of that was enormous increases in productivity and efficiency. You know, we live on the fruits of that today. But if you say to yourself, and, and I'm typically talking about bigger companies, but the, the story also applies to smaller companies. If you say to yourself, what are the problems that management grapples with today, they will be more likely to say things like, we want to get the most out of our employees. We want to create an engaging workplace. We want to innovate. We want to try to continue to adapt in order to make sure that we stay relevant. And that list of challenges, agile, innovative, engaging, of course, is qualitatively different uh, to the original challenges that were created. So I think you see where I'm going here, which is a very simple point, which is we created this social technology we call management. It's a good 100 plus years old as a way of working. The challenges that companies face today have substantially changed, and yet an awful lot of the basic mechanisms by which we get work done have kind of got stuck in a time warp. And I'll, I'll, I'll kind of prove that point to you in effect. Here is a chart I took from a...